Hey, do you love peonies? I certainly do. It's one of my favorite spring flowers. If you're planting a tuber, there's some things you need to know. This is a beautiful peony tuber. You can see the eyes popping out there, and that's the stem from last year's growth. What I want to do is I want to plant this with the soil about here. You want to make sure that you put it in good garden soil. It's nice and loamy, well drained, and in full sun. And you just pull the soil around like this. These will last for decades in your garden if planted correctly. Peonies are some of nature's most beautiful creations. So many gorgeous varieties to choose from. We love the blooms, but some people have a little anxiety when it comes to the buds because they often find ants dancing around on the tops. Why? Well, the peony exudes a lovely sweet nectar. Actually, the peony is edible. You can put the petals on a summer salad. Ants love the nectar. Ants don't bother the peony. In fact, some people believe that the ant, by removing some of that nectar, helps that bud to open. So uh, there's no reason to get upset about the ants. If you're gonna bring the cut peonies into your home like I'm going to do here, you can just gently rinse the ants off. Um, one little tip, uh, when gathering peonies, if you want them to last for a long time, uh, you want to harvest them in what they call the marshmallow stage, the soft marshmallow stage. This one's gone just a little past that. These will last a long time in a cooler, and then you can bring them out, recut the stems, put them in some warm water, and they'll open beautifully. Ah, the beautiful coral peony, one of my favorite flowers. I don't know about you, but I love peonies of all types and colors. Just a few tips on what you do with them after they flower. So if you were here just a few weeks ago, you'd have seen gorgeous coral colored blooms that eventually faded to a soft creamy color. Now you can see that there are seed heads that have formed. And what I do is I just snap those off because I really don't want the energy of this plant going into making seed, I want it going back into the tuber to create big blooms for next year. The other thing I do is I leave my cages. You see the flower heads were so big and heavy. I use these wire cages to support them. I leave these wire cages around them just to keep the foliage upright. Again, the foliage is so important for building that strong tuber. The next thing I do is I take a little organic fertilizer and I sprinkle around the edges of them so that they're well fed. This puts them in good stead for lots of blooms next year. These plants have been in my garden for 15 years. It's one of my most beloved plants and I love to see them flowering every spring. Having plants like these in your garden return year after year is a real joy. If you'd like to learn more about growing peonies and some varieties ideal for your part of the world, check out my website, pallensmith.com.